Ah, hello there. What, you've never seen a talking blue guy with random lights on his head before? We're pretty common here at the North Polis, right across the street from Santa's workshop. But while his elves are happy and healthy, busy building toys for all the good boys and girls out there ahead of Christmas Eve, I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season too. This time of year truly can be magical when it's filled with hope and cheer. But it's not all caroling and sleigh bells. If I live to be a hundred, I will never forget the year when players saved Christmas. Even in Among Us, a game full of lying, backstabbing, and death, there can be happy endings. You don't believe me? Well then let me tell you my favorite Among Us Christmas story of all. The game started out like any other, with players spawning right into the dropship. Oh, hey Angel. Merry Christmas. Long time no see. Angel? Dude, it's me, Veteran. Oh, sorry. You look exactly like someone that used to play with us in this lobby. Well, I'm not. I just thought I would switch it up and spread a little holiday cheer. I might even sing Jingle Bells later. Veteran, I've heard you sing before. Please don't. Merry Christmas, player. Oh, and hey, Angel. Long time no see. Oh my god, it's not Angel. It's me, Veteran. Wow, you look exactly like someone that used to play with us in this lobby. That's what I said. Ugh. Man, I cannot wait for you to open the present I bought for you. Oh, you, uh, bought a present for me? I hope it wasn't too much money. It was an exorbitant amount of money. Nothing but the best for my bestie. I'm in financial ruin, but seeing the look on your face when you tear away that wrapping paper will make it all worth it. Metaphorically, of course. Fiscally speaking, I will be in debt for a long, long time because of the lengths I went to make you happy. Oh, well, um... You're gonna love what I got you, too. <laughs> Wait, you got Captain a present after all? I thought you said you weren't gonna get him anything. And why are you giving me the secret signal to shut up? Player? Don't worry about him, Captain. I definitely got you something. It's awesome, you're gonna love it. Oh, good. Not getting something from you would destroy my holiday spirit now and forever. I would never fully recover from that kind of betrayal. By the way, love the candy cane horns. Thanks. Your snowman looks pretty sweet, too. Player was right. Captain Snowman did look pretty sweet. But what happened next was now. Oh my god! D damn him! Tell me, look! Somebody made a snowman! Ah, humbug. I don't have time for this tomfoolery, Mr. Cheese. Yup, up, up. It's Mr. Tree now. Whatever. Come along now. I need to get my task done. But, 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 gentlemen, it's Christmas Eve. Can you just take one night off and stay with me? Here, look. See? Maybe now the snowman can come to life. Ah, humbug. I've had enough of this nonsense. Good day, Mr. Tree. Oh, boo -hoo. I guess I'll just be all alone on Christmas Eve then. Poor oh, Mr. Tree. Oh, gosh! No way! Happy birthday! Wait, hang on a second. Where am I? This isn't a birthday party. Oh, my God! It's a Christmas miracle! You're alive! The gentleman's habits have been magic! So, uh, what's your name? For legal purposes, let's just call me Freezy. Freezy the Snow Person. So what should we do, Freezy the Snow Person? Maybe we can sing a musical number. Or or have a snowball fight. Oh, maybe we could we could go down to the railroad station and have a grand adventure to the North Polis. I was thinking I could just murder you. Wait, what? <laughs> yep, Freezy had been unleashed. And he was now out for blood. Years of cold suffering made him violent and angry. The magic within the gentleman's hat fueled the rage inside him, and he would stop at nothing to get his ultimate victory. Which leads us to the other villain of our story. Now every crewmate in Paulus liked Christmas a lot, but the Grinch, who lived just north of Paulus, did not. Maybe she was cold, 
mad that she lost her defroster. Well, maybe it's because secretly she was an imposter. I hate those crewmates with all of their tasks. I hate all their skins, their pets, and their hats. But out of all, I think my most hated thing is how in Game Tunes music they sing and they sing. Link is down in the description, by the way. At that moment, the Grinch came up with a plan to kill every crewmate, woman or man. So she slithered down the mountain, one hand holding a knife, heading to Polis to take every last crewmate's life. Bah humbug! That wretched Mr. Tree and his childish ways! Tasks must be done, regardless of what day it is. Have you learned nothing, gentlemen? Or should I call you Ebenezer? How did you know my first name? Who are you? Oh, it's me, Mother! Although technically I'm the ghost of Christmas past now, don't you know? See, I'm here to show you your childhood, explaining why you became such a Scrooge. Fine then, let's get this over with. Keep up the good work, lad. Remember, it's all about tasks. Rebooting the Wi-Fi, taking out the garbage, fueling the rockets, and so forth. Do not allow yourself to be tricked into spending time with loved ones. That's stupid. Only work is cool. Yes, sir. You know, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like you. But I'm going to have two top hats. Well, that would just be ridiculous. Oh, look at you, poor thing. You never stood a chance. At being a good person? At having a tasteful fashion sense. Although the good person thing is true, too, obviously. Oh, where am I now? This is the home of Captain. Mr. Egg? No, I'm the ghost of Mr. Present. <laughs> Get it? Because the, the present on my... I got it. Look at him. He's got absolutely nothing. He's been in abject poverty since he spent so much money on player's gift. It's a new PS5. I'm super jealous, actually. Well, that just seems like poor financial planning. Uh, I thought you might say that. No, this can't be. Is this really my future? I repent for my wicked ways. I will not be a Scrooge any longer. I now realize the true meaning of Christmas. I don't want to be buried here on Polis with no one to attend my funeral. Your funeral? Yeah, who said this was yours? This is where the three of us are buried. Oh wait, you guys are really dead? Yeah, there's a killer snowman on the loose. <laughs> Poopy farts, is that you under the mask? Yeah, that's Poopy Farts. Though now he goes by the ghost of Poopy Future. He says he got killed by a Grinch imposter. Same as me. I've got to warn the others. Everyone, listen up. There's a killer snowman on the loose, and he's working with Grinch. No, he's not. I did all my murders completely independently of him. I mean, uh, I'm innocent. Player, I promise you, if we vote out those two, we will win. You will win. I know how important that is to you. It would be a Christmas miracle. The gentleman, with all due respect, Christmas is about more than winning. It's about doing what's right and being a good friend. Captain, you've always been so kind to me. And rumor has it you bought me a brand new PS5. Veteran, I told you that in confidence. Sorry, dude, it just slipped. The point is, after an amazing gift like that, I feel bad because I haven't gotten you anything. I haven't been a good friend. Until now. Everyone's talking about a killer snowman, which is clearly you because you have that snowman on your head. Wait, player, I'm not Captain, the- Captain, let me finish. So even though I want to win this game more than anything in the world, I want to make my friend happy even more. I'm going to leave game, make your life even easier. You'll be one step closer to that imposter victory. And that is my gift to you. Merry Christmas, Captain. But Blair, I'm really not the... You know what? I should probably log off too. I need to stretch the old windpipes before my big musical bit. No!
And that's how players saved Christmas. What? Not the happy ending you were expecting? Well, maybe that's because you didn't realize which team I was on. Player really does suck at this game, doesn't he? Prepare the hyperthrusters. Aye, aye, Captain. After all, we are best friends forever. We're the kind of close companions that even know each other's first names. Captain, there's an incoming transmission. Put it on the screen. We meet again, Captain. My name is Mr. Cheese. I suggest you quit now, before I am forced to do something rather rash. Oh, watch out. Mr. Cheese, you traitor scum. I knew you would be behind this. Sir, imposter airships decloaking on the starboard side. I have you surrounded, Captain. Uh-oh, you're in trouble now. You and what army? You've made the fatal flaw of ousting yourself, Mr. Cheese. Now all the crewmates on my ship will stand united. What? <laughs> Who said all the people on your ship are crewmates? Huh? Well, that's not what you want to see. You've done well, player. <laughs> what? No! Say goodbye, Captain. No. Player, how could you? It was actually really easy. I'm the best imposter in this entire Federation. I mean, this lobby. Fine. Do your worst. Your hat is stupid, and I never enjoyed our friendship. What? Player! 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 Oh, hey, Mr. Cheese. Sorry, I was just looking up at the airship and I must have started daydreaming. Oh, don't worry, Player. I understand. It's a beautiful ship, isn't it? Yeah, it's really something. They say it's going to have ladders and new mechanics and all sorts of cool stuff. It'll come out real soon, I'm sure. And who knows? Maybe then you can win your first match, you big dork. <laughs> What makes you think I won't win this match? Wait. Hey, dude. Why the long fit? Save it, veteran. I don't want to be distracted. I'm going to win this next game, no matter what it takes. Player, it's not about winning the game. It's about coming together as crewmates, doing our tasks and making something that's bigger than ourselves, enjoying the fellow camaraderie with those around you. If you think about it, the real victory is the friends we make along the way. Wow, that's literally the dumbest thing you've ever said, veteran, which is actually really saying something since you're a total dumb dork moron. Wow, bro, I was just trying to- Trying to what? Explain how you're such a massive ding dong all the time? Here's a thought. Maybe it's because you both are such losers, and hanging out together has made your loserness even greater than the sum of your losery parts combined. Hey, back off, Mr. Cheese. Yeah, you've turned into a real jerk ever since you started winning all the time. Sorry, dweebs. I call them like I see them. And what I see is two losers. Wait a lane, boys. <laughs> We're hoping to go pick up some chicks. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <coughs> Mr. Cheese sucks now. <coughs> yeah, but he's right, you know. He's clearly better at Among Us than we are. And it's not like we know anyone good enough to carry us. Well, actually, there is someone. Wait, you don't mean... Yes. No, it's too risky. You want to win, don't you? More than anything, you're right. Make the call. Hey, dude, long time no chat. You, uh, want to play some Among Us? So, were you lucky enough to get paired up with Ninja? Veteran, I can't tell you that. That's a yes. It's okay, though. I can see how important it is for you to win a game. 
I understand how tantalizing the sweet, sweet taste of victory is. I won't ask you to the other players. Just, uh, do me a favor and have me voted out. Even if I'm not gonna win, I, uh, still don't want to be sliced in half, you know? Oh, yeah, totally. I'm sure I can explain the situation to Ninja and you won't have to die. Well, good luck out there, compadre. And most importantly, always remember to... <laughs> Oh, hey ninja. Man, ninja, you're unstoppable. How are you so good at this game? And you don't speak any English? Alright then, keep your secrets. Oh my heavens! So it was you two the whole time! Dude, I totally knew that. You're too late, Mr. Cheese. It's just us four and Captain left. And Captain loves me, so we'll definitely vote on our side. Oh, we'll see about that, big boy. Yeah, we will see. Oh, you don't think we're gonna see? Oh, I know we're gonna see. There's really only one thing left to do. And what's that now? To... <clears throat> see. Hey, gang. What's all the hubbub? Vote up player, Captain. He's a murderer. Now, those are some pretty serious accusations to be throwing around, Mr. Cheese. Serious accusations indeed, and seriously correct as well. Mr. Cheese and I caught them both red-handed in the laboratory. No, -uh, he's lying. Hmm, strong defense, player. The gentleman, your rebuttal. Player and Ninja are working together. Ninja knows that you consider yourself to be a friend with player and is counting on you siding with him in this vote. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean consider yourself to be a friend with player? Me and player are best friends. Absolutely. Player and Captain, best friends forever. Yeah, we sure are. Time to take out the trash. So, which one are we voting out? Player, did you get any of that? I think I heard Mr. Cheese in there somewhere. Good enough for me. Say his name, player. What? If you and Captain are best friends, you probably know each other's real names, right? Uh, I don't have to prove anything to you. Say my name, player. Uh, George? Wow. Can 2020 finally just be over already? Whoa, what are you working on in here? <laughs> it's a revive machine. You lay down on this table, slap on this helmet, and bam, start the program. Cool. Mind if I see it in action? Well, I would have to be dead in order for it to work. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Ah! Ha, sucker. Now just one more kill and I win. Gotta do my tasks like a crewmate should. <gasps> oh, you gotta hand it to him. Captain knows how to write good hooks. Oh, why, hello, Blue. Hey, Mother, don't call me Blue. My new name is Monster. <laughs> Yuck. It's so gross when their bone sticks out like that. But yay, victory. Wait, why didn't I win just now? It was Monster! I saw him murder Mother! Whoa, what? How are you still alive right now? What do you mean? I, I I killed you just a minute ago. Uh, clearly you didn't, but the fact that you think you did proves that you're the imposter. Wait a minute. Your machine. It worked. You stole my color, you dirty color thief! I hope I'm the imposter so I get a chance to murder you as painfully as possible! I didn't steal anyone's color. Orange was open when I got here. Well, you definitely stole the whole having kids thing from me. It's the entire basis of my character. Without my mini crewmates, you might as well just call me Bone or something. Bone? I don't know. It was the first thing that popped into my head. 
Listen, I'm gonna level with you here, guy. I'm the most popular player in this entire series, so I should get preferential treatment. It's what the fans want. And I demand that I be the only one to have children. Oh my God, will you stop calling them children? Technically, they're pets and should be treated as such. No, bad mini crewmate. That wouldn't be okay, even if they were pets. All right, everybody, what's going on here? What's going on here is that this guy's ruining all of our lives. Oh, is it because you were forced to wear green? No, 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 no. I mean, at first I didn't like it because I'm a creature of habit, as you know, but now I'm kind of into it. Like, should I change my look entirely? Is this working for me? Veteran, get to the point. Oh, right. This guy here has a super confusing name. Not orange? <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, guy. It's not funny. It's insane. His name is not orange, but he is orange? Surely this was some kind of mistake. No, that's... that's the joke, man. Well, I ain't laughing, pal. Neither am I. And neither am Thry. Guys, 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 let's all just remain calm here. I brought my buddy along today because he's a really good Among Us player and I thought you all could use the practice. What do you mean? We're basically all top tier grade A crewmates slash imposters. Right. Hey, how about this? If anyone beats me, then I'll change my name, color, pet, whatever you want. Oh, you got yourself a deal, buddy. Wait, wait, but let me finish. If I win, I get to choose what you wear whenever I'm in the lobby. Hmm, one moment, please. Well, do we accept his terms? I don't know. Do you really think we could win? Absolutely. They look like a bunch of idiots. All right, team. Let's get them. On three. One, two, three. My it's name is Kashyyyk. Jeez! Wow, I've never seen everyone run to one spot before. Yeah, well, everybody's got to do this task, so you might as well do it while you're around a bunch of other people so it's safe. All right, somebody must have seen who did it. We were all right there. I'm sorry, Captain. I was distracted trying to swipe the blasted card. Do I save these? Well, then maybe it's not orange. Why don't you think it's orange? No, I'm saying I think it is orange. What you just said, maybe it's not orange. Vera, make up your mind. Is it orange or not? Uh, this is exactly why not orange needs to lose so we can change his name. Hey, check this out. Okay, okay. Hey, Captain, an imposter says what? What? <laughs> Looks like we got a confession, everybody. <laughs> Can we please be serious people? There's killers on the loose, and they are going to murder us all if we don't vote them out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? You're right. Yeah, we suggest voting out veteran. Me? Why? You were one of only two people outside the stack. Seems pretty sus. But uh, I didn't do it. Player, you gotta believe me. Obviously, I believe you, veteran. I was standing right next to you. All those in favor of casting veteran into the harsh, unforgiving nothingness of the cosmos, say aye. 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 And Mr. Cheese. Hey, why did you guys get veteran voted out? We really thought it was him, dude. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our bad. Well, thanks to you, now the imposters only need three more kills to win. Hey, can we have this conversation later? I'm kind of busy at the moment. Yeah, and why are you so sure we aren't the imposters? I'm literally watching you do a task right now, so you have to be crewmates. Pretty smart, kid. Don't call me kid. All right, looks like I'm all wrapped up here. And you seem pretty chill, so we're gonna let you in on a little secret. Huh? Okay, Operation Frankenstein is complete. 
Finally. This whole process took so long, most of the other crewmates are probably dead by now. Is it really going to bring Mother back to life? I think she's going by bone now, but yeah. Oh, hey, she's waking up. Where am I? Is this heaven? Not quite. Monster and I here brought you back to life. And, uh, players here too. Hello. I'm confused. Not Orange here figured out how to revive dead crewmates a while back. Pretty sweet, right? Oh, but wait, how? Well, it's all pretty technical. You have to send electromagnetic pulses through your biosphere at the same rhythm of a level 4 healing crystal. The point is, you're back to life. So who do you all think is left? Not sure, but I am sure it's not many. Which is why we brought Bone here back for a little extra insurance. But isn't that cheating? Okay, listen, we brought you back because we thought you'd be cool. Are you cool? Because if you're not cool, I can undo it, bro. No, 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 she's cool. Just unstrap her. It's time to win this game. Sure thing. But, uh, Bone, be careful about getting up. Sometimes newly revived crewmates experience extreme joint discomfort. Hey, what the heck is going on here? I killed Bone back in admin. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, because then he wouldn't be alive right now, would he? Wait, is this how he won his crewmates last game? You guys are cheaters. I don't know what you're talking about. I plead the fifth. Freya, I know you want to win. You've waited so long. But is this really how you want to do it? Will the victory really feel as good, knowing you had to cheat in order to get it? You bet your sweet butt it will, old man. Wait, what? Yes, I won! I finally won! Oh, I can't wait to rub it in everyone's face! I'm finally a winner! I'm on top of the world! What? What is this place? You're in the cheetah's lobby, kid! You got caught, and now you're going to be stuck here forever, like the rest of us! No! What the? This can't be right. Okay, can anyone tell me what's going on here? Well, uh, you see... <laughs> oh my god, my ears! My ears! Oh, make it stop! Oh, thank god. It's not fair. I finally won a match and just because I cheated a tiny little bit, I'm stuck in this cheater's lobby forever? I don't get it, Sir Clogsworth. How can you be okay with being trapped in this place? It's dirty, dark, dank, drab. Don't forget, derelict, dangerous, duplicitous, and discordant. Deformed, deranged, deviant, dire, dour, dodgy, dubious, dusty, dismal, dreary. Yeah, and, um, uh, it sucks. Indeed it does, Mr. Player, but you've made your bed. Now you must lie in it. Oh, fine. I guess I'm just sad that I'll never get to see any of my old friends again. Like veteran, poopy farts, mother, and Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese? You're here too? Yeah, it's freaking bullcrap. I cheated like four episodes ago when I made Genobot. Well, greetings and salutations to you, fellow cheater. I am Sir Clogsworth. Why, hello, Sir Clogsworth. My name, Mr. Cheese. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am so glad you're around, Mr. Cheese. Maybe this lobby won't be so bad after all. <laughs> I'll say. This is a magical place with no rules, player. Just watch this. Look how high I can jump. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool, Mr. Cheese. Ahem, yes. Now, allow me to introduce you all. Starting with... Angel? 
Oh, you know her! She's been here for quite some time! Apparently, she violated the kill cooldown counter! OMG, that explains minute 527 of the first episode! Next we have... The New England Patriots! Wait, why are there New England Patriots here? Are you kidding me? These guys are the biggest cheaters of all! Last but certainly not least, we have the most amazing, incredible, be -E a beautiful player this game has ever seen! It's Miss Pink! Hiya, Clogsworth. Who are your friends? Hello, Miss Pink! This orange fellow is Mr. Cheese, and this gentleman is, uh... Hi. <laughs> M my, my name's, uh, Player. <laughs> Way to stay smooth, Ding Dong. Maybe when we get in there, we could work together. Or, or something. Never mind, it, it, it's stupid. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> I like you. See you in there, Tiger. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, it's hard to believe someone like her could be a dirty, rotten, no-good cheater like the rest of us. Yeah, she just doesn't do it for me. Personally, I prefer the subtle, round bean shape. She called me Tiger. <laughs> Rawr. Well, we better start the next match. Wait, it's not going to be another 100-person game again, right? That was horrible. No, no, no. This next one will be much smaller. All right, this is my chance. Time to... Wait a minute. Why is everything so big? <laughs> Everything's not big, player. We're just wheezy, wheezy, busy. But... But why? Haven't you played with the tiny imposter mod on before? No, this is crazy. Okay, this is the stuff of nightmares. How are we even supposed to kill people like this? Don't worry. I've got this. <laughs> wow! Angel! That was incredible! You see, player? It isn't that hard. In fact, being tiny can be lots of fun. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, we can do this. You bet we can. Now come on, we've got a game to win and players too. Angel! Whoa, Miss Pink? Hey, little guy. Enjoying the game. I... I don't understand. How did you kill Angel? She was an imposter! <laughs> Isn't it obvious? I cheated. Oh. Right. And it looks like you're next, stud. Wait, no! Ah! Miss Pink! I found Mr. Cheese's body in the cafeteria! Yes, I know. I was able to kill Angel. The imposter responsible for his death. And now, we just need to vote out player. Why do you think it's player? Because we have the tiny imposter mod on, and he is very, very small. You know what? Fine. I am an imposter. But if this is a cheater's lobby where anybody can do whatever they want, then why does that even matter? Miss Pink has killed more players than I have. I don't even care about winning anymore. I just want to go back to my friends. Well, there's only one way out of the cheetah's lobby, kid. And no one is willing to do it. I'll do it. I'll do anything. What is it? You just have to renounce your victory to inner sloth, admitting you never really won because you cheated, and cheating is bad. You mean I just have to say something like, I'm sorry, inner sloth. Grandmasters of Among Us. I really, really wanted to win, so I cheated. 
You never should have let my friends convince me it was a good idea. I've learned my lesson. I know that victory doesn't really count. I renounce it all. Cheating is wrong and it's never worth it. And when I finally do win one for real, it'll be because I deserved it, not because I used some cheap mod. Wow, I cannot believe that actually worked. <laughs> Keep running! No, oh, the humanity! <laughs> Open the door already, Captain! Yeah, I can't! This is the hardest task in all of Among Us! Are you kidding me right now? That thing is still gaining on us! No, Toto! That's a bad Toto! Egad! It's just so dang difficult! Uh, you can't do anything right! Move aside! There are only three crewmates left. Captain, Mr. Cheese, and myself. We still don't know who the imposters are. Well, player, you must be some sort of master of unlocking. Yeah, at least one of us knows how to actually play this game. We we're almost puppy chow because of you. Hey now, let's not point fingers here. But if we did want to point fingers, they should be pointed squarely at Mr. Cheese. <gasps> what did I do? It was your mangy mutt that got us into this mess in the first place. Toto just likes to give love nibbles. Maybe because your head's made of food, you're used to it, Mr. Cheese. But I, for one, am not on the menu. Which reminds me, was anyone bit? You tell me if you were, right there? We all saw what happened to the others, Captain. No one wants to live through that again. Ah! Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Benji! Babe? You okay? I need to eat brains, babe! <sighs> Blasted zombies. Hold up, zombies? Come on, it must be a glitch in the game or something, right? That, or a cheat. Not that I'm accusing either of you two well-known cheaters or anything. That's in the past, Captain. Right now, I just want to focus on what to do next. I'm thinking we just call a meeting and- We can't do that, player. That will bring everyone here, including the Munchy Bunchies. No, we still have a game to win. We should all split up for safety. No, wait, Captain. We need to stick together. You're always stronger in a group. Yeah, Captain, the game is called Among Us, not Among I, all right, buddy? Promise you'll stay by our sides. I promise, player. But wait, is that a zombie behind you? <gasps> Captain, I, I don't see any. Uh, well, I guess we're going with the splitting up plan. Good luck, Mr. Cheese. Yeah, <laughs> you too, player. Are there any spooky zombies in here? Legally, you have to tell me if I ask. Help! Help! Oh my god, that actually worked? Hey, get me out of here! Wait, Stoner? Whoa, thanks, compadre. I thought I was going to be stuck in there forever. Wow, I didn't think anyone else was still alive. What are you even doing in here? Well, as you know, I'm not one for the corporate scam known as Western medicine. So I come in here every now and then to collect some fresh herbs. Wait a minute. Were you hoping to combine them together to make some sort of elixir that can counteract the zombie infection? Uh, well, normally I just use them to make skincare products. You will not believe what these things can do for your complexion, bro. But like, yeah, I suppose we can make an antidote or whatever. Come on, let's head down to the lab. We might be able to win this game after all. Cool, cool. But is there like a Mickey D's on the way there? I have a major case of the munchies. Ha <laughs> ha
<sighs> My mother? Oh no. Franklin. Come on, little guy. We gotta get you out of here. No. Not you, Franklin. Uh, what happened, uh, player? Guys, Mr. A killed Stoner right in front of me. I think he's responsible for all of this. He's a liar! Hmm, Mr. Egg seems to think you're a liar, player. What do you think, Poopy Farts? <laughs> oh, God. Player's right, though. We're talking about life and death here, people. After all, we're in a room full of zombies. Wait, what? Poopy Farts, you will be remembered. Yes, he was a real legend. If you're lucky, they might even say the same about you, player. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Cheese, have something to share with the class? <laughs> Mr. Tasty. Captain, what's going on here? Answer me. It seems your friend here got himself infected by my little virus. Your virus? Yes, a computer virus that would infect every pet in Among Us, including little Toto. But, but why? Isn't it obvious? I wanted to win, of course. But more than that, I wanted you to lose. Captain, but we're such good- Friends, don't make me laugh, player. You never cared about me even after everything I've done for you. You love hanging out with Veteran. You love going off on little side adventures with Mr. Cheese. But Captain, well, there's no time for picnics, no time for birthday parties, no time to remember his name. Captain, I... Save it. Mr. Cheese, take out the trash. Wait, what are you doing, Mr. Cheese? You're supposed Master. to listen to me! I created you! I command you to stop! No! Master. No! Yes. Captain! Wow. I, I did it. I finally won my first game of Among Us. And all it took was Captain actively trying to make me lose for it to happen. You really can't do anything right. Thanks, bestie.